Hello, hello, beautiful Million Mom Movement community. I'm very excited to be here today. I'm Carmela Velarde. I'm a Blue Diamond with Perium, and I'm on the Million Mom Movement Council here with a lot of information for all of you. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn more with us, to build our community, to be what it is today. Look at these numbers, how exciting. So we have something very special for you today. I couldn't be more excited, actually. I could not wait to scream it from the mountaintops when we talked about this as a council, what the topic would be for this week. So um, we have an impeccable guest. She is on our council and um, she will be talking about the toxin that came to dinner, David Sandoval's book and the topic of glyphosate. So a year and a half ago, the Million Mom Movement was formed with the, as the brainchild of Stephanie Don, our chair. And with that really was a commitment to educating, empowering, and entertaining you with all kinds of content that us as the moms on this council were really passionate about to get this information to your hands, to your home. And so that you can raise wonderful children in the world to eat cleaner and greener. We're looking for 1,000 families in a hundred communities to impact 10 families each to eat cleaner and to eat greener and to really understand how your impact in the world matters. So we're mobilizing here. We are an activism arm. And so what we're going to be sharing with you today is really dear to our heart. It's something that makes us stand out in the industry of wellness. And so I have had a background of health issues with leaky gut specifically. So it touches me to the very core about some of the things that we're gonna be talking about as a solution for you today. And um, if you could please, let's introduce some of the people who are in our council. So if you could please put in the chat a letter C. Um, so we have Taz Pereira, Neva Flore, Jody Parker, and Stephanie John is missing with us today, but she will be back next week. And please do take, take the time to connect with the, all of us on social media, possibly follow us, and really understand what we're all about and the messages that we're sharing with our own families to make this movement what it is. And we're not a movement without all of you. Each individual here in this room really can, just by sharing the hashtag Million Mom Movement, um, really connect with all of us together and we wanna see those kids, we wanna see the families, we wanna see all the caregivers, what they're contributing into this community and really become the movement of many. So the movement of many includes men. So it's very exciting to have more men in our community. So please invite more. And so I'd love to share um, the mic with Taz Ferreira. And she comes from Montreal, Quebec and she's gonna share the pledge. I think with our little youth ambassador over there and along with also the scholarship. So take it away, Taz. So in honoring Jody and Leora, because Leora always reads this so beautifully, I figured let's have Lucho read it too, right? So here you go, Lucho. I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health of environment of future generations. I am committed, committed to sharing this movement of many. I am the Mary Mob movement. movement. Thank you so much, Lucho. So you know how like every sports team has their anthem? This is our anthem, okay? We say it with pride, we say it with joy, and we share it with all. So I love using the pledge itself as a tool. I use this as a tool and I share it with everyone. As Carmela showed on the website, you can just save the meme and share the picture with everyone. So now I'm going to go into the pledge, the pledge, the scholarship. Okay, we have this amazing scholarship. 
a lot of you who are philanthropic, this is for you. You know how it is giving that we receive? So this is what Purium actually does. They give the superfoods, three month supplies of superfoods along with the business. So we are giving someone the opportunity of the business and the entire foods. We are helping them. We are awarding this to them. So to be legible for this, you need to be part of North America. So that's the US and Canada, and you need to be a parent or a caregiver. So go to the website and you will include the person who brought you to this website, okay? And we have our who, why, and what. So this is for an, a low economic family. And you will get in touch with us and we will see if we are a right fit together. There's an essay to fill out. And you know, we want to support you through your journey. You get free business coaching. You get the superfoods. You get the business. So thank you so much. Back to you, Carmela. Okay, awesome. I loved hearing Lucio. And I definitely believe that the growth of our community depends on each individual one of us to take a look at our website, take a look at what it is that we have to offer you as a community. And we are growing content. So take a look at our website and I'd love to pass the mic over to a woman and mother as well of five uh, in Hawaii. And she's gonna talk about the social media impact of the Million Mom Movement as the social media coordinator. Go ahead, Naiva. Thank you so much, Carmela. Hey, everybody. So um, I really enjoy getting to share all of your stories through our social media platforms. And so we have a few different places you can find us. First of all, we are on Facebook, Million Mom Movement. We are also have an amazing group, Million Mom Movement Official, that we would love for you to go join and invite other team members and friends to join so they can see what we're doing in there and within that group it's a safe space so if you still haven't done any lives we want to encourage you to come in there and share your voice and get comfortable with that and we will just encourage you and you know it's a safe space to share what it is that you're up to as a mom as an entrepreneur as part of our million mom movement and lastly we have an instagram page and that is mainly where I look to repost you. So if you'd like to be featured on our pages, please use these hashtags here on this um, little graph. And this graph is also posted on our Instagram page. So you can find it there with all the details within the post of what we're looking for on our social media, what we'd like for you to share more of. And we love to just be able to repost you in our stories if you tag us in, in your stories, as well as on our Million Mom Movement platform itself. So um, that's how I can help support you and get you, your face out into the Million Mom Movement and share what it is that you're up to through our platform. And so I want to encourage you to use those hashtags, tag us in your posts, and go to that page and use it as your own personal Million Mom Movement Instagram page. Promote those stories, promote those posts within your stories. And lastly, I wanna let you all know, because this question comes up often, is the links to everything we've talked about today is in the link in our bio on Instagram. So if you're looking to, for the link for Fierce Friday, it's in there. If you're looking for our YouTube channel, it's there. If you need to watch the replay to any of our past Fierce Fridays, if you aren't able to join us and you're wanting to watch a replay, it's all in our YouTube channel. And the link is there in our bio, as well as the link to our website, to our blog, to the scholarship, it's all there. So refer to the link in the bio on our Instagram page. Lastly, I just wanna say that next week, I'm gonna be doing a really fun social media training. And I'm gonna be sharing about how to create reels and how to use your stories to promote yourself and what you're doing. And we're gonna be creating some really fun stories towards the Million Mom movement that you can also use in your own stories. So maybe some of you have caught the ones that we made this last week promoting this event today. And we want to encourage you to use those as your own or make others and share it with your community. So we're going to be um, bringing out even more of those fun stories that you can share on your own platform. And of course, always tag us so that we can reshare you 
on our Instagram on Million Mom Movement in the stories. So thank you so much, Carmela. Back to you. Such valuable information, guys. Please take to heart all those links and ideas and tune in for Naeva next week. We've asked, so many of us um, have been asked, how do we lead with the Million Mom Movement? So this is, this is our answer to you. And uh, we definitely heard you. So today I'm going to get right into the speaker. And um, now we've gotten to know each other quite a bit on this council for over a year. Her name is Jody Parker from Colorado. She's a green diamond and super public with her mission and message. I love, love, love hearing and reading Jody. And I actually share quite a bit of her posts and information myself. And I highly suggest all of you do the same. And it's a great level of um, taste, education, and activism <laughs> all in one. And amazing background that she has, which is why I'm so grateful to have her also on the Million Mom Movement Council. She has a background as a TV producer, which helps us all create this content weekly here on the Fierce Friday Zooms. And she also has a child development and neurology background. So the science comes through, which is why I get really excited to hear her speak product knowledge with our community. So some of you have already been really hungry for this information in our Million Mom Movement content. So here we go. The toxin that came to dinner. Oh, thank you, Carmela. That kind of gave me goosebumps. I feel all warm and fuzzy. So thank you for that introduction. I appreciate it. So uh, the toxin that came to dinner, not my title. It's the title of the book that Dave Sandoval wrote. Uh, he is the co-founder and formulator for Perium Health Products. And uh, so I stole his title because we are going to be talking about what that toxin is today, what it does. I made a presentation. You don't want to look at my face the entire time. So I'm going to bring up my keynote here and I am going to do it full screen for you. All right. So the toxin that came to dinner, what is it? How does it affect you and your family and what can you do about it? Um, so we're gonna, ah, it's not letting me go down. Why is it not letting me go down? It's not letting me uh, go forward on it. I don't know why, that's really strange. So hold on a second, guys, let's do this. Oh my gosh, my computer just completely froze up. Of course it did. Ah, come on, come on. Story of our lives. <laughs> and now she's singing. I'm not joking. What is it doing? You guys, I'm stop so sharing. sorry. I, tr I did try to stop share and it's not, it's not letting me. Come on, stop share. My husband's calling my daughter. Ah, there, okay. Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? All right, let's try this again. I was a television news producer. I wrote the things. I didn't do the editing and the video guys. So bear with me. I'm not, I'm not technology brain, I'm science brain. Let's try this one more time. But what I'm going to do is just leave it like this so that I can go down like that. Everybody see that? Look okay? I'm not gonna go full screen because apparently my computer doesn't like that today and I'm not gonna or, or argue with Mercury retrograde. So this picture is a real picture of real kids. You may have seen them a few weeks ago. Um, when they hosted Fierce Friday, but Million Mom Movement, we are the movement of many, a group of concerned moms, dads, and caregivers who provide education and action steps to teach our communities how to live healthier. And that is relevant because that is what we are doing today. So I wanted to give you a really clear picture of who we are. So this quote is a quote from years and years ago. For the first time in the history of the world, every, every human being is now subjected to content contact with dangerous chemicals from the moment of inception until death. These chemicals are now stored in the bodies of the vast majority of human beings, regardless of age. They occur in mother's milk and probably in the tissues of the unborn child. That was Rachel Carson in her book, Silent Spring, speaking about DDT. DDT was a pesticide that we sprayed uh, in the 1940s and 50s to get rid of mosquitoes. It's when you have DDT poisoning, you have the symptoms that are sometimes considered to be polio. So that gives you an idea of just how toxic DDT is. Well, we have a new DDT on the market. 
And I want to point this out to you because this is so clear from the from the invention of you know better living through chemicals post World War II, the life expectancy declines seen in the U.S. and other high in income countries are rising. So this was from 2018. The study found rising midlife death rates from dozens of diseases of the heart, lungs, digestive system, and other organs. It even found rising death rates during pregnancy and early childhood. Something far reaching is affecting the health of Americans in the prime of their lives. You guys, when I talk about this being a big deal, I can't stress how big of a deal this is. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about something commonly known as Roundup. Roundup, we mostly think of it as the chemical that we spray on our dandelions. Don't spray your dandelions. The bees really like your dandelions and you can make really great tea for them. They're really good for your liver, but I digress. So we think of it as this thing that we can spray in our yards, but it is sprayed. It is the most widely used chemical herbicide in the world. It is on 80% of our food supply. It is in our air, it is in our water, it is in the soil, it is being found in the umbilical cords of babies. And you can see, a couple of years ago, this was the first step towards Monsanto, who is now owned by Bayer Pharmaceuticals, in admitting that maybe this particular chemical isn't so healthy for us. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says Roundup's active ingredient is safe for people when used in accordance with label directions. Now, that's if you are not exposed to it every single day, but you are. However, the France-based International Agency for Research on Cancer, which is part of the World Health Organization, classified it as a probable human carcinogen in 2015, and California added glyphosate to its list of chemicals known to cause cancer um, shortly thereafter. So here's why you should care. It's been found in upwards of 75, we're now saying 80% of the food on grocery store shelves in the United States. It cannot be washed off. It is not like you go and you wash your apple with your veggie wash and your fruit wash and it goes away. It can't be washed off. It's in the soil. It gets into the body of the plant. It's been found in 75% of the rain samples in the Midwest. Being the most heavily used herbicide, it's found on the side of highways, in parks, outside office buildings. They spray it all over school playgrounds. The volume being sprayed is about one gallon per acre per year in the US. It is absolutely inescapable. Everybody is exposed to it. It's been found in urine, umbilical cord blood, breast milk, and all the childhood vaccines. It bioaccumulates in the body and inserts itself into our protein chains. It takes the place of glycine in our protein changes, in our protein chain chains that causes proteins to fold so they don't work correctly in your body. Dogs urine tests have 50% higher for glyphosate than humans. That's because dogs are walking on the ground where it is sprayed and it gets absorbed through their paws. Think about what that means, you guys. All the cancer we're seeing in the, in the dog population. Glyphosate also has epigenetic effects. It's a big word. What that means is you have genetics and you have the environment. And epigenetics is how the environment affects your genetics, how your genes are expressed. So animals fed genetically modified organisms and glyphosate show infertility in the third generation. That's a really big deal when you consider that in 2016, we had the highest infertility rates ever measured in the United States. And for the first time in history, we are not replacing our population. That's a really big deal, you guys. So. Here's another reason why you should care. In 1999, the Perry Report found it to be a probable clastogenic. That means it has the potential to cause DNA and chromosome damage, epigenetic effects. But there was a synergistic effect with the other ingredients in Roundup that made the damage worse. It's what we call a synergistic toxin, when two things that are bad for you are put together and exponentially get worse. Monsanto buried that report and then acted as a ghostwriter for a report that said the opposite. We cannot trust what they are saying. Here's a journey back in time about glyphosate that's going to help you understand why it is so hard for us or hard on our bodies. So you can see this picture. 
These are people spraying the chemical on the crops of the food that we eat. So that's what they wear when they're spraying the chemical, um, but then we eat it. So just, I have a little cognitive dissonance over that. I'm guessing I'm probably not the only one. Glyphosate has three patents. Its original patent was as a descaler for large industrial machinery. What does that mean? Think about lime away when you've got like buildup in your shower and things get clogged and you have to get rid of the minerals in your shower. That's what a descaler is, but this is on a large level because it's for industrial pipes to get the buildup out of the pipes. So it acts as a mineral chelator. That means it binds to minerals and moves them away. Um, so it's useful for cleaning out the industrial pipes, but then what they found was that it was uh, killing other things. They found that all the weeds around those places where they were using it would die. So they patented it as a weed killer. Okay, so here's what you need to understand about how this weed killer works. It kills weeds by destroying their immune system, what we, what we call the shikamati pathway. It's a certain biochemical pathway in, in the weeds, okay? So plants and microbes have that pathway, but humans don't. So they originally said, because humans don't have that pathway, it's gonna be okay for us. And they started spraying it on genetically modified foods. Now those foods, are designed to not be killed by glyphosate. So glyphosate kills anything you put it on except the genetically modified stuff. So use of Roundup since 1987, when we started introducing this stuff, has gone up from 11 million pounds to 300 million pounds today. You can see just the sheer amount and numbers that have gone into spraying this all over our food. So here's where we get in trouble. This is the third patent. Glyphosate is patented as an antibiotic. Well, why is that? I just told you that bacteria have a shikamati pathway, right? Now think about the probiotics in your gut. We've all heard about that. Eat your yogurt after you've had your antibiotics. We know all about that, right? So what happens when you take an antibiotic every single day with every single bite in every single meal that you're eating and it bioaccumulates in your body over time? What is going to happen to the good bacteria in your gut? It's going to die, you guys. It's going to die. And that has huge implications for human health. So let me go back and revamp all of that that I just told you in comparison to what does that mean for us, for human beings? So a descaler or mineral, mineral chelator binds minerals. It binds them in the soil. Therefore, the food we're eating isn't as nutrient dense. And it binds them in the body once the plant is consumed. So you could be eating really healthy and lots of minerals, but because of that binding ability, you don't absorb the minerals. So you still end up nutrient deficient, even if you're eating them, because it's being bound and it basically goes in one end and out the other. Um, sorry for that picture, but there you go. So a weed killer that kills all plants and microbes that are not genetically modified affects the microbes in our gut, right? So what does that happen? As that antibiotic wipes out the good bacteria in our gut, it allows pathogens to flourish, things like candida and things like E. coli and things that are harmful to human because it is the good bacteria in our body that keeps that immune function stable and keeps those things from taking over. So when they die, those things start to take over. The good bacteria also does something that's going to sound kind of gross, but it creates a biofilm. And that's its waste. Think of mucus, all right? But that mucus protects the villi in the intestines. What are the villi? They're the like little finger-like projections that come out from this inside of your intestine wall. It increases the absorption space on the wall. Well, as, as those microbes die off, that biofilm disappears, that protection disappears from around your villi, and they start to get damaged by everything else that is affecting them that is now out of balance in the gut, and they start to die. 
And as they start to die, they separate and you get microscopic holes in between the villi of the intestines. And that leads to a condition we call leaky gut. It is when proteins can get into the bloodstream or anything, you know, think of your intestines, they're a closed system. They're supposed to stay closed. Things aren't supposed to get out of them. You know, it goes in one and out the other. It's not, only the good stuff is supposed to be absorbed into our bloodstream. But when you get these microscopic holes, you get the bad stuff absorbing into your bloodstream and you get complete proteins, like for instance, gluten getting into your bloodstream and your immune system is designed to attack full proteins. That's what it does. And so now suddenly we see this huge increase in people having trouble with gluten and this huge increase in autoimmune type conditions like Hashimoto's is one of the more popular ones that most people are aware of, thyroid problems. And so you can see how this bioaccumulation over time just builds and builds and builds and the health problems that can come from it can build on themselves. So here's something else most people don't realize. Our gut is our second brain. It's home to 70% of our immune system and 70% of our neurotransmitter production. If you're having mood disorders, if you're having uh, sleep problems, all of those things, you probably have leaky gut. Brain is gonna be depression, anxiety, ADHD, sleep problems, um, autism spectrum disorder, dementia. In your sinus and mouth, you can have frequent colds and food sensitivities. Thyroid, you get hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's, Graves' disease, joints, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, headaches. Adrenals, you get adrenal fatigue, which affects your entire endocrine system over time. In your colon, constipation, diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, malabsorption, inflammation, and Crohn's disease. In your endocrine system, that's what makes your hormones. You're gonna see an imbalance in hormones, particularly serotonin, which is what's related to depression, melatonin, which is what's related to sleep, and testosterone, which are all considered the happy hormones. And then you can also get auto intoxication, we call whole body toxicity. So if you're ending up with the waste not properly leaving your body, it gets reabsorbed into your bloodstream and now you're toxic to yourself. So can I get some nods? Is everybody starting or in the chat? Are we starting to see just what could come of eating this every single day with every meal? All right, but let's look at this. Correlation does not equal causation, okay? But correlation is a signal. It shows us where we should look. So I am going to show you the following graphs. As glyphosate usage and GMO crops increased, so did all of these. Irritable bowel problems and hospitalizations, intestinal infections, infection deaths, peritonitis in hospitals, celiac disease, liver and bile duct cancer, hepatitis C, acute kidney injury hospitalizations, acute renal failure, kidney and renal and pelvis cancer, thyroid cancer, urinary bladder cancer, acute myeloid leukemia deaths, stroke deaths, hypertension deaths, obesity deaths, Think about it, obesity. How, how would a toxin lead to obesity? Well, if you aren't absorbing any of your nutrients, your body is going to try and make you keep eating because it's trying to get the nutrition it needs. So that is how that can correlate. Anemia diagnosis, low iron. If you've got a mineral chelator, I think you can see how that would make sense. Disorders of the brain, dementia. Alzheimer's deaths, dementia deaths, Parkinson's disease. Glyphosate can help aluminum cross the blood brain barrier. High levels of aluminum in the brain is associated with Alzheimer's and dementia. Anxiety and sleep disorders. So insomnia diagnoses, anxiety diagnoses, sleep disorder diagnoses, and suicide by overdose. And finally, look at that first top one, autism. You guys, that's an almost one-to-one -one ratio. That's a huge signal. Birth defects, ADHD diagnoses, and diabetes. And then finally, we started at the beginning and you saw, we saw a definitive court order on cancer. That was a few years ago, but now it's happened 
four times uh, in the body of this post. It says the verdict represents the third such legal setback for the company in California since mid-2018. In March, a San Francisco jury awarded $80 million to a man who blamed his cancer on his extensive use of Roundup. In August 2018, another San Francisco jury awarded $289 million to a fourth plaintiff. Uh, they are appealing. This is an ongoing story. These are just May 26th of this year, May 27th of this year, these stories. Bear tried to say, we will make a $2 billion fund and anybody who wants to make claims can just pull money out of that fund. And the judge said, yeah, no, no, we're not gonna do that. Everybody has a right to be heard on this. They are now thinking about taking glyphosate out of their Roundup formula. I don't like to think about what they might replace that with because I can't imagine it will be much better, but at least they're talking about that, right? But this is an ongoing story. Right now, 30,000 cases are waiting to be heard about glyphosate and cancer. 30,000, you guys. So we're about solutions. So I educated you, you now understand why we don't eat glyphosate on all of our food. But what do we do about this? Okay, so you want to avoid genetically modified organisms, GMOs, and man-made food additives. Okay, so corn, soy, sugar beets, canola oil, alfalfa, and cotton are the top GMO crops. Aspartame, citric acid, natural flavoring, artificial flavoring, high fructose corn syrup, MSG, sucralose. A lot of those things made from GMO crops, you guys, usually corn. Um, so my solution is just eat real food. Just eat real food. If it has man-made ingredients, don't eat it. Eat organic. Okay, so here's where people get confused. You'll see a non-GMO label and you'll think, oh good, I'm safe. Non-GMO does not mean you are safe from glyphosate, all right? It means you're not eating a genetically modified food. But glyphosate's used as a desiccant, even on non-GMO crops. So these include wheat, oats, barley, beans, sunflower seeds, lentils, potatoes. Uh, I don't have it on here, but garbanzo beans, almonds, flax seeds, you name it. They're using it as a desiccant. What's a desiccant? It is, uh, it dries things out. So the reason they do it is they, when they spray the crops right before they harvest them, the plant knows that it's dying. And so it puts more output out, more seeds, more oats, more, you know, of, of the wheat, et cetera. Um, so it increases the yield. The other thing it does is it dries the crops out, um, which they need to do in order to transport it so it doesn't get mold and it speeds up that process. So it speeds up their turnaround time and their yield. That's why they're doing it. You cannot wash it off. Now, just keep in mind that even if you're eating organic, a few years ago, Bob Red's, Bob's Red Mills organic oats were tested and they had trace glyphosate in them. That's because a field next door to the organic oat field uh, was not an organic field. It was sprayed, the wind blew it, you got drift, it ended up with glyphosate in their field. So organic is your best way of avoiding it in, a, in high numbers, but it's not ideal. But I'm gonna keep going, I have solutions for you. So at home, you wanna avoid your weed killers um, what I use, a lot of people say vinegar. And just the other day I was telling my husband that the white vinegar I'm buying at Costco and the big jug is made from GMO corn. And is it working? Cause it has glyphosate residue in it. I don't know, but that's something that occurred to me as I, we were talking about it the other day. You know what I use is boiling water, boil water, get it real hot, boil your plants. They'll die. I promise. Uh, it works really well. Killed an aspen tree that way. Um, it was gone. So boiling water is my favorite way to do that. There are other homemade recipes out there, but if you wait till it rains, you can just pull your weeds too. It's really good for you. It's healthy. It's grounding. It's exercise. You're doing your squats. Um, you also want to get involved with it at a local level. Talk to your school about avoiding spraying the playground around where the kids are in line and everything. Um, and, and see if they have a different way of doing it, even organize some people in your community to go pull the weeds at the school so they don't feel like they have to spray, like whatever that we can do, however much you can give, that's what you can do, but there are lots of ideas out there. 
Voting with your dollars is by far and away one of the most powerful things we can do. The reason that the organic food market is taking off as it is, is because people are voting with their dollars, right? So don't buy from companies that support genetically mod modified foods or glyphosate usage. And you have to be really careful about that. Uh, I'll give you a really great example. There's um, companies out there that are doing or organic greens and organic foods, and then they get taken, they get bought out by Nestle, or they get bought out by General Mills, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I don't buy from those companies anymore, period. I don't care how much my kids loved the, you know, little chocolate crackers or whatever they were, I don't buy from them anymore. I do not support companies that use glyphosate. Um, and then educate yourself and others. There will be a recording of this very presentation up on YouTube when we are done. Um, share it, let, you know, teach people, let them learn from it. So another thing, what do we do? Well, we gotta get it out of our body, right? It's in there, we're exposed, we're eating organic, we're pulling our own weeds, we're taking every, every step that we can, but we're still being exposed. So we need to detox it from our body. We need to bring down the inflammation caused by that leaky gut and the stuff getting into our body that shouldn't be anywhere but inside of our gut. And we need to heal the gut. And that is where this absolutely amazing thing comes in. This is Biomedic. The Toxin That Came to Dinner is a book that went through all of this and teaches you all about biomedics. So that is why we titled this presentation that. So uh, when it first came out, they called it the first anti-GMO product. This is a, an, an, old, um, an old picture. It doesn't come in bottles anymore. Now it comes in biodegradable packets because we are going plastic free by 2021. And I realized as I showed you this picture that I forgot to change the picture. So that's on me, but they are no longer in bottles. But we did a preclinical trial, six weeks long without a diet change. We saw over 74% reduction in glyphosate in the body a drop in C-reactive protein, which is an inflammation marker, and it dropped an average of from 3.75 to 1.2. So that's a 75% reduction. That is what cardiologists measure when they're trying to figure out what your heart attack risk is. They're, they're measuring C-reactive protein. It's a really big deal considering that heart disease is in the top three killers in our country. Getting that C-reactive protein down makes a really big difference in quality of life and length of life. The test group also showed a 35% decrease in gut permeability that's the fancy way of saying leaky gut, as compared to the control group. So as the body began to heal, the villi began to heal, the junctures in the gut tightened up, those microscopic holes start going away. And that's another reason why you're gonna see that decrease in the uh, inflammation. We are the first and only, I might add, company to be awarded the gold seal by the detox project as a glyphosate detox solution. We're the only one, only one out there. There's a lot of people talking about this out there, but we do have that certification. There's only four natural ingredients. This is all that is in the biomedic prebiosure. It's a digestive wheat germ extract. This is what assists the villi and the intestines to heal. It's a type of probiotic that uh, creates that biofilm I talked about that helps to protect your villi so that they can regrow because the body is naturally a self-healing uh, organism. And when you create the environment for which it can heal, it will do as its best to do so, all right? That does have a little bit of gluten in it, 0.7 micrograms, little tiny bit, but we can't officially say it's gluten-free. So if you're concerned about that, I will have an answer for you that a little bit later in the presentation. So chicory root fiber extract, that's a prebiotic. Prebiotics feed probiotics. They're food for the good bacteria in your gut. It helps them grow. It helps them spread all over your gut and make a nice happy home in your gut. Humic sure, fulvic and humic acid blend. We're seeing a lot on social media right now about using fulvic and humic acid. So this is the thing that removes glyphosate. It also gets rid of other toxins like medicines and antibiotic residue and pesticides and Teflon and heavy metals like aluminum and mercury and lead and radioactive elements from the body. Why does that happen? These are not a nutrient. They are um, 
they're not really an enzyme, but they, they kind of act like one. They help nutrients get in cross the cell membrane and get into the cell and they help the toxins get out of the cell. So think of them as a bridge and a driver of getting things in and out of the cell. So the good things you want in the cell, like the minerals that have been chelated out of your body by the glyphosate and to get the glyphosate out of your cell. And then lactospore is a probiotic in spore form. So that is why it is stable at room temperature and it reestablishes the healthy probiotic balance. The other reason that that particular probiotic is in this product is because it helps with elimination. Because if you pull all of this stuff out of the cells but you don't actually get it out of your body, that doesn't do you any good. So uh, if you have constipation, this is a really great product for you. Um, and I'm going to go into a little bit more detail, but first I want to talk about what do you see? What are actual some real real life stories um, around using this product? And I will very briefly give you mine. Um, I had sub chronic health issues for uh, 20 years. And no matter what I did, how much I detox the heavy metals and how much I did this, that and the other, I, I always had the sub chronic condition. And it turned out I had Lyme disease and didn't know it. And we figured it out through a very random set of circumstances, but I did not have typical Lyme inflammation in my joints. I did not have typical Lyme symptoms. And my doctor said to me, you don't have that inflammation. It's because of what you are eating. It is because of these pure premium foods and because of this biomedic. That's a huge testimonial. I didn't realize that I had inflammation until it was gone, you guys. But Tass, if you want to unmute yourself um, and tell us your story about uh, your son and how bio Biomedic helped you and then Carmela, you take over from her when she's done. I'm going to take that off so we can see Tass's face. Tass, oh, here. There we go. Okay, thank you. Okay, so this has affected my family and myself personally. So let's talk about Lucho. Okay, this affected Lucho. And you know when um, Jody was talking about how you can be healthy and this affects you? So that was our family, okay? We ate so healthy. We've been vegan for 12 years. And I'm talking about not junk food vegan. We eat so healthy. No sugar, no processed food. So healthy, okay? Yet my son at around 18 months, he developed the worst type of eczema ever and IBS ever. He's going to the bathroom constantly, constantly. And he had attacks. He had attacks in his intestine. He was in so much pain and eczema everywhere. Here I am. I did not understand the importance of organic foods. Okay, we were eating all of our greens, all of our veggies. I'm like, who lives healthier than us? I would see moms going to McDonald's and fast food and seeing their kids. And I was, I felt horrible. I felt like a horrible parent. Like I was missing something, right? So I'm bringing him to every specialist. I'm doing every genetic testing, every dermatologist, every specialist I can find saw my son and imagine when your your child gets sick and you have to do all these testings something happens to us you know we become this like enraged mama bear so that's what happened to me and I kept going back to all of his charts and I'm like I'm missing something right I would go to my gastro and I'm like do you think he's we should take him off gluten right maybe I didn't know that much about gluten back then. And he tells me, he's like, absolutely not, Taz. You are not Eastern European. He's not celiac. So that would be irresponsible. Okay, I guess he knows best, right? So I don't know what to do. He is suffering. I'm putting cortisone cream on him everywhere. Nothing's helping until when we were at convention in Texas. This is when Biomedic was being introduced. And everyone was telling me, Taz, do you think this is glyphosate toxicity? I'm like, what? What is this word? I've never heard of this word 
ever. And science is my background. So if I don't know about it, how many millions of moms don't know about it as well? Could this be the missing piece that I needed? The gap that I didn't know that was missing for my, my son? So I took a look at everything like what Jody posted, you know, what it can be because it looks different in different people. And you know what? I saw the biomedic in that capsule. I opened it up. I sprinkled it on, on his tofu scramble. I gave it to him on Friday. By Monday, all of his symptoms went away. All of his symptoms went away. I'm getting goosebumps and chills back into that moment. And that moment I was like, I get it. Okay, I'm sold. Everyone needs to know about this. I need to be so loud about this pandemic that we're going through. Because there's so many us moms who normalize these things that happen to our kids. We think, oh yeah, my son has eczema. That's normal. You, we normalize too many things. They have diarrhea, that's normal. They were constipated, that's normal. It's not. So we have a solution. Okay, back to you, Jody. Carmel, okay. do you wanna? Your turn. Yes. Thanks, Taz. I, I don't get sick of ever hearing your story because it's so impactful to my own as well. So when I was two years old, I had started with having leaky gut already symptoms. So when eating all kinds of foods, I would have eczema all over my body. I get inflammation. Um, I would be in pain, my mom would say, as I was three years old, four years old for my joints. And I was the first generation in my whole lineage from the Philippines um, to be in America, vaccinated. And my mom uh, could not nurse me. She had inverted nipples. So I didn't have mother's milk. And I was the first in my generation to have vaccination. So first year out of the mark, I had these inflammatory conditions and it just continued. My sister did have some nursing for my mom. She was able to a little bit and she has a very different immune system than I do. So I'm just going to lead you to my path of healing where all throughout my 20s and actually into my childhood, really thinking about it living in the 80s and 90s, all of the terrible food back then, and toxins and sugars, we didn't know. But every time I would have these toxic foods that weren't organic, that were full of processed sugars, fast food in the 80s and 90s, I would inflame. I've been hospitalized multiple times from just being so inflamed, I would scratch myself till I bleed. And then I'd have psychoactive drugs constantly being prescribed with the ADHD, and nobody know, nobody had the same symptoms as I did at that time. The leaky gut symptoms that people were having now with the bloating, the inflammation. I had it when I was two and I always suffered mentally from it. So fast forward today, now as a mom of two of an eight and a 10 year old, I nurse both of my children for three years each. Um, they're not vaccinated. I'm just putting my story out there. They've been organic since I had birthed them. And I've been with these pre products for the past seven years. And I'm an advocate for everyone doing all these things that are preventable to um, what Jody was sharing about glyphosate and how we can really get around this issue. But it's really through education. So if you don't know, if friends of, and family members of yours who are having all these inflammatory conditions and issues with food, you have to share this information. People don't know what they don't know. When I learned and I started making these shifts, as soon as Biomedic came on the on the, um, the product list of Purium in 2018, I literally was in tears. I was crying. I was meeting the doctor at the convention. I have not missed a convention because I was just trying to investigate my health with a movement that takes a stand for an issue that nobody's talking about. And it's because we are the only ones with a solution. And for so long, this is 40 years now, I've been working with this. And finally, I've gotten around it. And my children don't have the same issues as I have. So just wanting to share that story that everyone can do something about this. That's amazing, Carmela. Thank you. That passion. Can you guys feel that? Oh my gosh. It's, it's, we have the solution, you guys, we have the solution. And I'm going to show you this because I have a few, just a few more slides. All right. So Look, look, this is an updated slide. There's the actual biodegradable packaging that I mentioned earlier. All right, so you can get it as an individual packet. 
you can get it uh, as a four pack that's going to save you uh, I didn't change the wording 10 savings per bottle per packet so ignore that um, it also is in our epigenius kids which is an all-in-one nutrition drink for children we have some for dogs because remember I said glyphosate levels in dogs are 50% more than they are in humans because they're down there on the ground sniffing it and absorbing it through their paws. It comes in a whole bunch of different packs, our daily core four, our gut health pack, our ultimate lifestyle transformation and on and on and on and on and on. Uh, there's lots of ways to get it. So if you are watching this and you are not already a brand partner with Perium, uh, the person who invited you or who showed this video to you has a referral code that will save you $50 off an order of 75 or more to get this. That makes uh, Biomedic buy one, get one free in essence. So there's so many different ways you can do this. Um, and if your kids, some people say, what if my kids don't like the Epigenius kids? Well, then you open up the packet, you open up the capsule, you did what Tass did, you put it in their food, um, you mix it into something. So... I mentioned that uh, some people need a gluten-free option and some people need an option that they can't stay on a product that detoxes them constantly because they don't have the genetic makeup to be able to handle that much detox. So we came up with a solution for you. If you combine the aloe digest and the ionic elements, you get everything that is in the biomedic except for that pre -Sure, which is the ingredient that has the um, the gluten in it. So you're still getting the lactospore and the prebiotics and the fulvic acid. And what's really great about this combination is the minerals. Ionic Elements is a trace mineral. And so it's got all the different minerals you need in it. And pr pretty much all chronic symptoms of any kind um, will have a mineral deficiency or a mineral imbalance in some way. And if you've been eating glyphosate for a really long time, then you've probably stripped your body of a lot of your minerals because it's a mineral chelator. It's taken it out of your body. And so being able to give your cells all of those minerals is a way to build the body back up. So some people stay on biomedic all the time. Those who can't do gluten use the aloe digest on the ionic elements. I actually switch the two. I do the aloe digest and ionic elements, sometimes in the biomedic, other times, depending on whether I'm in detox mode or support mode. And those two products come in the family nutrition pack. We did that on purpose because we wanted to make sure the family nutrition pack was completely allergen free. And uh, aloe digest tastes like um, like apple juice. And so kids like it. So it's a way that you can get the kids to drink it. And aloe digest is also just really, really great for your gut for a number of other reasons that we don't need to go into today. But that family nutrition pack also qualifies for a free business pack. It is how you can join the Million Mom movement, not only as a participant to get educated and to be an activist, but to actually empower yourself financially through joining our partner superfood company, Purium. So I just, I wanted to throw that in there so that you knew you had that option. So now I'm thinking all of you probably feel like you have a responsibility to share this information with other people. And don't you love that graphic from the heart to the brain? Go out there, share your passion and your knowledge, pass it on please. And there's some way, there's one way that you can do that super, super easily. We have a petition, and uh, if one of the council members can throw up the, the link in the chat, I'd appreciate it, that we are asking General Mills to, re to remove glyphosate from Cheerios and its other cereal products. Cheerios is one of the first finger foods that most toddlers get. So we're exposing this exposing our children to this from the word go. And we don't think that's okay. We don't think children should be eating poison as their snack every day. And so we created this petition. Don't worry, we are the only ones who have this information. It isn't going to anybody else and you are not going to be spammed in any way. We made, we created the petition. We're the only ones the information come to, but share that, go on social media, sign it for us, share it out there for us. And I'm gonna come full circle back around to this pledge. I pledge to defend the health of myself as the caregiver, you must take care of you in order to take care of others and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods because GMO foods, or because 
non-GMO still has glyphosate in it, right? We want them to be minimally processed and free of man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I am committed to sharing this movement of many. I and you and we are the Million Mom Movement. Thank you, everyone. Carmela, back to you. What a way to close it out, Jody. Goodness me. Thank you for reiterating that pledge. So potent, so powerful to remember why we're all here, taking this commitment to our families for ourselves. So, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much for that valuable, valuable slideshow. And goodness, so good. So we're closing out the end. If you love our content, guys, please stay tuned into the Million Mom Movement Fierce Fridays every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific. Next week, as Naiva Flory had shared earlier, she will be hosting next week. So we go for the business side of the Million Mom Movement Empowerment section. And please do um, share this from our YouTube channel, this recording. Yes, we have a YouTube channel. If you didn't know that we'll have this video uploaded and it is a great tool for people to learn more. If you are not able to reiterate everything that Jody had just said, <laughs> please share the video. Thank you, blessings to all. I'll toss out there really quick before we close. If you have questions, I know there were questions in the chat that we couldn't get to because there's a lot of information. Go join that Million Mom Movement official Facebook group page, ask your questions in there. We'll, we'll make sure they get answered. Excellent, thank you, Jody. Thank you, everyone.